imagine that you are in the city of Medina in the 11th year after Hijrah. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he has just passed away and the event of Saqifah has just occurred. Now the Shia of Imam Ali Alayhi Salam are being forced to give bay'ah to the new ruler. I want to know what would you do in this situation? Would you, for example, give bay'ah under taqiyah and help the Ahlul Bayt in secret? Would you speak out, risking your life and the lives of maybe even your friends and family? Or would you do something else? I would go to my Imam, uh, Imam Ali السلام, and I would ask him what he wants from me and what I should do as a person that follows him. And I would seek Fatwa al Zahra to see how I should um, act upon this uh, tragedy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. The Imams, the Ahl al Bayt, salam, they are there to guide us. So naturally, we would want to go to them and ask them, what should we do? I want you now to picture that you are standing outside the house of Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam. This house that saw Jibra'il alayhi salam come down from the heavens and give the revelation where our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi used to come to that house and greet Amir al muhmin kiss Fatima to Sahra and cuddle Imams Hassan and Hussein alayhim salam. I want you to picture that you see the enemy come towards the house and you hear that the threat is made. And Fatima to Sahra alayhi salam, she refuses to let them inside. I want you now to picture that the door has been pushed on her and you hear her scream and now the house is being set on fire. How would you feel seeing such an awful sight? And how do you think you would react to that? I would try to protect Fatma to Zahra. I would want to stand in front of her. I would hold Imam Hassan and Hussein tight. And say the same. Yeah, that's what I would do. Such a horrific thing to witness. This 18-year-old girl, the beloved of our Prophet, oppressed in such a manner. I want you now to picture that the attack is over and you walk into the house of Lady Fatima alayhi salam and you see her lying on the ground in pain and her children are around her and they are crying and they are scared. What do you think you would do to make that e situation easier or more bearable? I'll tell, I will say that they are the household of the Prophet. They are the Ahlul Bayt. They are the purest of the purest. I would try to make Hassan and Hussein quieter and make them feel better. You know, I will try to make Fatima to Zara feel better. I now want you to finally imagine, sister, that again you are in Medina. 
Yet this time, you are with Imam Mahdi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance. I want you to imagine that you are walking beside him and he is taking you somewhere. And you say to him, Yabna Rasulullah, where are you taking me? And he says to you, I am taking you to the grave of my grandmother Fatima alayhi salam. Now none of us know where our lady is buried. She was oppressed so much in her life that she told Imam Ali alayhi salam in her final words, bury me at night so that those who oppressed and hurt me cannot pray over my grave. I want you to imagine that now you are standing in front of that blessed grave, that garden of Jannah. If you could say anything to her, what would you say? I wouldn't need to say anything because she would know what is my heart. I would just stand there, smell the fragrance of Jannah, and I would just try to take a bit of her dust and put it on my face for tabarak. And I will ask her for shafa'a and forgiveness. Our Prophet ﷺ would say whenever he missed the scent of Jannah, he would smell his daughter Fatima alayhi salam. And I pray that we all live to see that day where we may smell that scent of her grave. <laughs> Oh